Today I am going to tell you about how to extract the desired data or desired value from your matrix, vector, list, data frame or an array. I have already created some data structures. For example, I have created a vector and have stored it in a container V. Suppose this is a vector V which has values like 357119, 53319. I also created a matrix M. This is the matrix with three columns and four rows and another I have created a data frame with DF container. This is the data frame which contains four columns and 14 rows. There is another data structure I have created, an array stored in container A. This array has two matrices. Each matrix has three columns and two rows. I'm going to tell you about how to get a specific value from these data structures. So let's first get some data out of a vector. So this is a vector V. For example, from this vector, I want values from 5 to 9. So this is at number 2nd, 3, 4, 5th, 6th. So from 2 to 6th. Then for extracting that data, press V and then brackets, inside brackets, 2, colon, 6. This means I want values from 2 to 6. So these are the values. Another value you want V, value number 6. So at position number 6 in vector V, you have 9. This is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. So at position number 6, you have the value 9. If you want value number 6 and value number 8, then V, for this you will have to combine these two numbers with C, value number 6 and 8. I need these two values from the vector. So these are 9 and 3. At position 6 we have 9 and at position 8 we have number 3. Now if you want to extract values greater than 5 from this factor, then V again V should be greater than 5. So this is the way to extract those values from vector V that are greater than 5. So these three values are greater than 5. Let's try another example. V, V should be equal to suppose 3. I want to see uh, how many 3's are there in the vector V. So I want to get those only those values in V which are equal to 3. So it will get 3 values of 3. 1, this is 2nd and this is 3rd. So this also tells you about how many times specific number have been repeated in this list. Now let me give you another example. For example, I want those values which are smaller than 5. So these are the values that, that are smaller than 5 in this vector. Okay, if you want to get all the values from this vector except a specific value. For example, except this second value, I need all the vector. Then for this, the method is V minus 2. Minus 2 here means that I do not want this value number 5 that is at second position. So it will get all the values except that 5. And if you want multiple values in your exceptional list, then V, you should use the C command, for example, minus 2 as well as minus 5. So it will remove these two values at position number 2 and position number 5. You will get this vector. Now let's turn towards matrix. We have matrix M with three columns and four rows. If you want to get a specific row or a specific column out of these, uh, out of this matrix, then the method is the same like getting values from the vector. But the difference is that 
here we have a two dimension data structure that's why we will have to use two values inside these brackets so m and then this bracket then you will have to put a comma here to separate rows and columns this first position represents row numbers and after this comma the second position represents column number so for example first let's get some row suppose you want this second row out of this matrix 5 9 1 so you type 2 here before this comma and it will get these values 5 9 and 1 so this is row number 2 and if you want to get column number 3 suppose then you will have to type this 3 for column because the position of the column is typed after this comma this is the position for columns so it will get these values 3 1 9 3 3 1 9 3 for example you want this 9 so this is at row number 2 and column number 2 2 comma 2 so row number 2 and column number 2 this will get the value of 9 now if you want to get more than one rows then you will have to use the c command for example m c of suppose row number 1 and row number 4 and then comma and then i want to keep this position empty for columns because i just want these two rows from this matrix so this will get these two rows this is row number one three one three and this is the last row here in your matrix one three three so you will get another matrix consisting of two rows now let's get two columns out of these three columns M, we will leave this row position empty and then in the column positions suppose I want to get column number one and column number three it will get these two columns out of your matrix Now we have a data frame df. For a data frame, we have two methods for extracting columns. One is called the dollar method and the other is similar to this matrix method. First, let's try the matrix method. Suppose you want to get column number one out of this, then comma one. Because this is the this represents column position. So at column position, I have typed one, which means I need this column number one out of this data frame so this is the column number one values and they are given in the form of a vector and factors so they have two levels that is placebo and treated and now suppose you want a specific row for example from df you want row number 14 suppose this is row number 14 in our df and then you will have to type comma because to separate the row position from this column position and let's leave this column position empty so we just want this 14 number row it will get this row let's get three or four rows out of this data frame df c row number one row number five row number eight three rows and then for column position leave the positions of columns empty so it will get three specific rows out of that data frame and now let's get two or three columns out of this data frame so df comma leave the position of rows empty and in columns one and four suppose so you will get only two columns that is the first column and the last column let's take another example df you need row number suppose one row number four and row number five and also you need column number two and column number three suppose this will give you a short data frame out of that big data frame so this will get like uh, row number one row number fourth and row number fifth also it will get column number second and column number three okay as i told you that uh, from data frame you can get column with two methods the second method of getting the columns out of data frame is the dollar method so you will just have to type the data frame name and then dollar sign and you will immediately see the column names of 
the column names in this data frame so whichever column you want then you just need to click for example this gender column and then just click enter so it will get you the gender column another column df dollar suppose the frequency enter so there are two methods of getting columns from a data frame And now let's turn to the list. I have created a list with L name. So in this list, we have three members. Member number one, which is a vector. And the second, which is also a character. Uh, and the third one is a character vector also. This one is a numeric vector, and these two are character vectors in this list. Suppose you need this third member out of this list. Then you will have to type these things to get this character vector out of this list so type l and then twice this and then three so it will get you this third number vector out of this list and if you want to get this first one then you will have to type these brackets twice and then this one position of that element so l one and you will get that vector The last thing is the array. I have prepared an array. This is array consisting of two matrices, matrix one and matrix two. Each of them have three columns and two rows. Here, as you can see, we have three dimensions. One is uh, the row, the second is column, and the third is the matrix. So you will have to use two commas to separate three dimensions from each other. So A, A is the name of the array we have given to it and then these brackets and then you will have to use two commas. Here this is the position of row number, this is column number and here you type the matrix number. Suppose you need this matrix number 2, then type 2 here in the matrix space. So it will get only the matrix 2 out of this array. Now, if you want matrix number one, then this will get matrix number one. Okay, out of matrix number one, you need row number two. So this will get row number two, the columns place is empty and matrix number one. So out of matrix number one, it will get row number two. So this is row number two out of matrix one, five, one, nine. This is five, one, nine. And if you want from matrix 2, suppose column number 3, and we want this empty. So column number 3 from matrix number 2. So this will get 9 and 3. So that was all for today. Thank you for watching my videos. Bye.